consistency mm. and reliance on God. Mm. It's I, I think I can I can add hard work, but I, 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 I'll, add, I'll add hard work. Of course, just you, you time, work. yeah, consistency, grace, mm. and hard work. Time because whilst we're being consistent, it had to take time for people to actually notice what we were doing, but we didn't lose hope. Mm. We stay true to ourselves and we're consistent over the years. Um, there's a process. I believe that for everyone to get to a destination, you don't just fly. Even when you're flying, yeah. you fly from A to B. And before we got to B, we had to walk the walk, not just talk the talk. And with time, Ghanaians have come to appreciate what we stand for. Mm. Um, in totality, you know, so if we were changing, if we weren't consistent, then maybe they wouldn't have taken us seriously. But we've been consistent, we've waited and been patient, we've worked hard. Um, God has blessed us with the right people and has also allowed us to submit to these right people. Mm. And then, with time, again, we're where we are. Okay, does every gospel artist need to be under the quote-unquote coverage of a church can you be an, a gospel artist and not necessarily be affiliated to a church um i wouldn't know what the lay down i wouldn't want to say that's the lay down prop, um, um, principle but you're a christian mm. and the bible tells us not to neglect the assembly of the saints mm. i also know that a child who doesn't have a home against a child who has a home which of them is likely to have a food poison and mm. would know the source of the food poison. Because mm. if you know where you're eating, if you know where you're being fed, one, you know the source of the food, you trust the source of the food. But if you eat everywhere and anywhere, you wouldn't know which one poisoned you and which one didn't. Not sure. And so as much as you stand on stage to minister, you cannot produce what you don't have within you. Mm. And for you to get what you have within you, someone has to feed you and so it's important to have a home i say this all the time that i'm sitting in front of you as diana hamilton but when i'm in my church i'm diana mm. i'm diana and because it's my church it's like my home mm. in my home i help with cooking the food so when i'm eating the food i enjoy it with all boldness because i helped cook it yeah when we finish i help clean up mm. Because I'm not a star in that home. Churches help you get grounded. Churches are the ones because it's your home. When I'm advising young up and coming singers, one question I ask them is when was the last time you went on iTunes or Amazon in the past? You went to a music shop and you say, please, I want a song of a latest artist, mm -hmm. a brand new artist. The person is going to ask you, you have a name? You have to know the name of that person. True. How did you know the name of that person? Because someone mentioned it or someone exalted that person to a point where you knew the name. Or someone put it somewhere that you saw it. And so when they say charity begins at home, success starts from home. So mm. it's your home church that will lift you up. They might not give you physical money, but they are the ones that will feed you keep you grounded so that when you step out there mm. you are going with the backing of the home mm. the backing of your spiritual father and we are we're preaching christ and it's very important that we stay home and be grounded so we can preach christ yeah. i like that i like that a lot i'm in the studios now with the very fabulous donna hamilton to send in your messages 0549 986 996 that's 0549 986 we're counting down to the 13th of february where we're going to be having the awake experience with diana hamilton i'm talking about all of that and more right here on the show now i'd love to know okay so in as much as uh, you, you've you've said a few times that a lot of things you don't control, it's you're led by the spirit. Is that the same way with your creation of music? Do you feed off um, personal experience, things you've heard, 
or are you led in the spirit to write the songs that you create? Everything you've said, mm. and and Bible says that the steps of a righteous are ordered by God, mm. and so it's God that will lead you to actually have a rima, to have an understanding into a personal experience, okay. to create a song out of a personal experience. It is the same spirit that will let you see a story in someone's story or a message in someone's story. So yes, my life, someone's life, the word of God. But in all cases, I would ask God, is this right? Mm. What you want to say? Mm. How do you want me to do it? Mm. And when we go into the studio, after you've prayed like this, it's not in the studio with the, with the producer that you're going to say, God, tell him, is mm. this the words he's saying? After you have prayed, you know mm. that whatever comes out of him is the will of God. Okay. okay. For me, that's, what it, that's how it happens. Now, let's talk about a song that I, I, I personally absolutely adore, mm. Adam mm. Grace, which, which has... I think when it comes to weddings or engagements, <laughs> if you don't hear Adun played either by the groom or by the bride, <laughs> like I think you haven't attended a Ghanaian traditional wedding. No, sure. uh, <laughs> uh, how did you create? What was the process like? Okay. If you can describe it for the creation sure. of the song. So Adun is a classical example of someone's story, mm. not mine, okay. at the time where we wrote it. And um, it was my sister. Who, so I think at the VGMAs, I actually spoke about Michelle and I said the Michelle story because my little sister who was pregnant and wanted a girl so bad, got pregnant with a girl and at 20 weeks, her waters broke wow. and the doctor said they wanted to get rid of the pregnancy because it wasn't going to work, it wasn't going to be viable. And wow. uh, my sister stood her ground based on her believing God. And the doctor said she was being crazy because the mm. doctor said it wasn't the pregnancy. It was going to take a few days max. And she said, she, they said, well, we either take it out or we play the weight game. And my sister said, I'll play the weight game. Wow. And they said, well, you're being crazy because it can make you sick. You yes, can die. You yes, can die. You yes. can. Anyway, she stood her ground. She prayed. And then days turned to weeks and weeks. And she had an extra eight weeks. They called the baby the baby in the waterless womb for eight weeks. Wow. When baby came, the doctor said, well, anything that could possibly go wrong was going to be wrong. And the baby wasn't going to see, baby wasn't going to talk, baby wasn't going to walk. My goodness. Baby is five years or six years now. and No, five. And we have a healthy, beautiful, smart baby. My and goodness. so at the, at the christening, I was with my sister and she said, Auntie, when I'm breastfeeding Michelle, I tell myself I don't look like what I have been through. Mm. Because what she went through in that hospital, the things she heard and saw, the number of babies she saw die in NICU, and her child stood and came out a beautiful girl, makes her know that she doesn't look like what she's been through and mm. that it's just pure grace. So that's the, that was the beginning of the song and its writing. Wow. And then we're here. Nah, I have to go and take a listen to this. <laughs> we'll come back more with Diana Hamilton. <laughs> Honestly, such a beautiful song. Without you. I don't. I don't think you you ever get it wrong. Honestly, have you had a? Have you have you ever had a bad performance day? A day where, on stage, maybe things didn't go right technically, or perhaps the crowd wasn't vibing the way you expected it to, Ooh, or anything of that sort. It happens. Really? But on such cases, you just keep Even it you? short and simple, and just. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't. Believe, I can't honestly believe uh, you ever happens. have like, a bad a bad performance it day. Does, wow. Girl, it does. <laughs> <laughs> but how easy is it like sort of doing the commute because your, your your primary base is, is, in, is in the UK, UK. Mm -hmm. now juggling especially um, having a lot of your commitments being in Ghana mm -hmm. um, how easy is it or how difficult is it trying to make sure that the two lives in both countries are run concurrently yeah it's difficult yeah we've done a 24 hour overnight stay before mm -hmm. um, just come in yeah finish do, so back. you know when you leave london it's um so londoners the londoners will miss us one night and then we're there so we for instance i took off on a tuesday got here on tuesday night mm. and then i sang on wednesday and i flew out that same wednesday night and got back on when on thursday morning my goodness yeah we do that uh, what Shall can you, you do what can you do but um yeah i I am not too scared of flights. Okay. 
I only get scared when we get turbulence. Yes. Oh gosh. Because I don't do roller coasters. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I don't do roller coasters. So when we're getting and and we've had some bad turbulences and so Ooh. it kind of traumatized me a bit. So the moment there's that I'm, I'm holding on to, you know, the seats and I'm like, God, oh, did I say I love my husband? Did I tell him I love my life? You know. It's kind of <laughs> oh, right. So if I am flying out, I would call. Everyone in mixture. I'm like, God, I hope I'm right with everyone. So that if, if this is the end, I know my heaven is secured. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But if there's no turbulence, I'm, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Um, mm-hmm. As long as you can have a quick nap and have a good sleep overnight. So, mm. Especially the overnight flights. Yeah. yeah. Then, you, then you're good to go. Okay. Now, new album coming this year? Possibly? New album out. The Grace album yes, is out. Yes. Aha. Right. The right. Grace right. 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 Um, which has the Grace on it, which has um, Eradi Yet Do It Lord, which has Wasem on it, so which has a lot of songs. Um, free Indeed. Mm. Okay. A lot of songs okay. on there. So, yes. How, 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 um, how was that creative process like putting out that body of work? Okay, so we didn't set out to release an album just yet. Mm. It was just as the songs came, we released them. Mm. And then we kept on releasing and it became back to back and realized, okay, album, here we go. Okay, okay, so okay. We're here, the Grace album. Um, we, we, in the past, we'll sit down to fill an album before we released it. But mm. now we release the songs. And as we make up the numbers, we, we bring it out and everyone okay. has. I like that a lot. Yeah. Is, is, are you, are you, do you have a plan to put all, is there, a, is there a constant plan to put out an album at least each year or do you oh, do no. twice? Um, it's, there's never a time set for, for anything like yeah, that. Yeah, to okay. say, oh, it's two years, your song needs to come out. <laughs> <laughs> no, so pressure. no It's no pressure. I ain't no one giving me pressure. I'm not, I'm not allowing anyone to give me pressure, but it's as and when we get the songs, we release them. Um, if it meets the numbers and we think we can put in an album, great. Um, uh, we've been there when we've released albums back to back. Um, saying that it was every two years and then one of them was three years mm. but we didn't really sit down to plan and say it's two years let's release a song no mm. it's never mm. like that mm. yeah but 15 years ago was the first time the album the first mm-hmm. album came out now yeah. um 15 years in our gospel fraternity in mm. this industry how looking at it over the period mm. what has been the biggest change you've noticed Oh, a lot, a lot. Oh, oh, I can tell you so much now. Um, okay, so I've been around for a while because mm-hmm. um, I started off BVing for some artists. So that's oh. about all the fifteen years. Okay, oh, which, which no. artist? Francis A.J. <gasps> wow, I was fourteen years. So <gasps> yeah, my goodness, I know I'm an old woman. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, where? <laughs> oh, amazing. I'm an old woman. Thank you no, very much. Not the least. So, <laughs> so I'll be hitting 30 years in, in singing it, wow. since I actually started. Oh, so are you going to do a, a celebration? I don't even. You see what I mean? I don't, I don't <laughs> plan these things. Before you know it. If it happens. If, if the yeah, moves, yeah. 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 But, um, you know, in those times, we when Francis's time would go to a studio, then it was Zap Mallet, and um, it was a long process. We'll stay there overnight just recording one song francis had leaflets of papers with songs verse chorus stanzas coda, uh, this one and this one you'll, you'll be singing that part and you'll be doing that part and we're singing and zap mallet is scaring us because he's, he, there's a mistake and you have to do it we're there all night for one song wow. and then when i was about to release come out with my first album i recorded a whole album in three days the us it can't be that easy that was in the computer age where you ah. could just somebody by their computer could create that mm, that was that the mm. influx that time you know at the francis time videos weren't that much of a big deal yeah. as far as gospel was concerned but in our time when when i came solo then yes there was a computer era where every instrument was played on the computer mm. That went on for a bit from Osurbekasa and Insiwiye mm. was very computerized. Mm. By a Yawa, we had started introducing a live drummer, you know, ah. who play some computerized, but a drummer will come in and do percussions, would introduce a live horns um, that started creeping in. And then by my Yahoo album, 
we were playing everything live Amazing. you know so it's and then even within that time it was more of cd sales oh cassette sales <laughs> girl i've been around you for a while <laughs> <laughs> i love it <laughs> so there was a cassette sales and you call your producer and ask or your manager and ask how many cds how many cassettes have you sold and we sold this amount and we sold this amount and then there was the time when people were just dubbing the, the what you call that oh oh when then downloading for free and ah, then cassette yes. sales started coming down and, and then and then we were, we were in a, such a difficult era hmm. within the gospel even in the music circles where people were just not buying cds yes. and cassettes anymore yes. because they were yes. just yes. using you pen drives to, to yes. you know piracy, piracy. Yes. that's the english i was looking for the piracy just went on over the yeah. roof and then uh, we then started introducing Stream. digital mm. streaming and i'm still here yes you <laughs> are <laughs> yes you are I'm doing digital and, and it will evolve again you will, still be it here it definitely will <laughs> and you will still you know? be here <laughs> yeah i love so, it yeah, i love seen it a lot of changes I, I i like i like a lot <laughs> now okay back to the big one the 13th of Feb. february we are spending time with diana hamilton at the awake experience with diana hamilton yes. um performing coda doses of glorious dishes nanajwa effie grace among many amazing artists mm. now finally for all those that might still be undecided about making it on the 13th mm. what would you like to tell them Lina? oh i'd like to tell them that if they know anybody who's been mm -hmm. and because last two years last year because of covid we couldn't do that yes. at the end of the year we did a dime with diana but prior to that we in february we couldn't do that but two years ago we did that and we out we oversold the calvary temple wow which is a 3005 seater can you imagine yes yeah, so that's how we're going to perez so yes. anybody who's been there knows what god does at these events mm. uh, there's there's well there are two ladies one of them is telling me how last year she was at the kumasi experience trusting god for the fruit of the womb and god has done it for her Amazing. and she knows another person who who also experienced that. that and so this year she's buying 10 tickets just giving it out to people so wow. they come and experience what she experienced two years ago and so it's not just a night where we get to sing yes we're singing you're hearing great music great setup mm -hmm. nothing no table is left unturned mm -hmm. you know every i is crossed every t is dotted as far as production is concerned but the spirituality of this event is on the high side we've prayed into this yes. as we always do and even more and we are believing god to do great and amazing things with it and so you want to grab yourself a ticket and be at that event absolutely absolutely it's, uh, it's happening on the 13th of february standard yes. ticket is 50 ghana cities double is 90 ghana cities oh. vip is 100 ghana cities and a family of five Money. is 200 ghana That's cities oh. if you want to get your ticket you can call 054 six nine zero seven four seven three that's zero five four six nine zero seven four seven three and you can buy it digitally by dialing star seven two five star eight zero eight zero hash star seven two five star eight zero eight zero hash and better yet if you're close to any of these locations walk through and get yours <laughs> airport city shell hatch your shell Stansom and shell temakom t8 shell hospital road shell temakom t11 the kfc <laughs> bachelor total peace fm ship house joy fm kukumimne perez chapel in jolu and be a part of awake experience with diana hamilton diana I wish I could keep you here forever, but I can't. I Unfortunately. We, can I add one more thing? Please we, go we, ahead. We get to have people who would say, Oh, I would want to have an exclusive parking. Mm. I want to make sure I have a seat that yes. has my name okay. on it. Okay. I want to So we can do that. There. Yes. And uh -huh. that's you'd have to call a number. Okay. And the number you just put out, zero okay. five four six nine zero seven four seven three. Okay. When you call this number, say you want to have a premium ticket. Ah. Uh -huh. Zero and you five can. four six nine zero seven four seven three i love it and get a premium ticket and get a premium experience <laughs> at the awake experience with diana hamilton diana thank you so much such a pleasure we should do this thank again you. we need to. absolutely yes. i'm gonna let you go now thanks for having me people on my neck <laughs> <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen